Hi everybody! In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a delicious mango guacamole. I'm going to start mentioning the ingredients. We're gonna need a ripe avocado, jalapeno pepper, one. We are also gonna need one lime and one mango. About two tablespoons of chopped onion and about two tablespoons of chopped cilantro. We're also gonna need half of a teaspoon of uh, kosher salt. For the dipping, I am using some corn tortilla chips and some vegetables. As you can see, we have some radishes, some cucumber, some carrots, and celery. Uh, to prepare the guacamole, we're going to need uh, two tablespoons. We're going to need a mortar. I have the Mexican version of the mortar. Mortar is called molcajete, a cutting board, and a knife. I'm going to start off cutting in half this mango. All right? So, this is the way I'm gonna cut the mango to get it ready for our guacamole. I start doing some kind of like squares in here. kind of squares for the uh, mango. I'm gonna leave this piece here. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other, the other side of the mango. We're gonna cut off and drop it into our guacamole. Surprise! All right, then I'm gonna use a napkin to go in the knife and then I just keep using it for the next step. We are cutting in half our avocado. Half of our avocado. I take the seed this way. You don't have to do it if you don't feel sure, but I'll just do it because I, I've done tons of guacamole for my parties and stuff. So yes, I'm gonna use my spoon and I will just dump this guacamole, this avocado I mean, in our bowl or mortar or whatever you are using at home. I'm gonna find a chunky texture in the avocado. So I'll just start with my spoon, trying to press down the avocado until I make a chunky uh, texture. As you can see, I'm gonna try to make a zoom in to the uh, the guacamole and I start adding all the ingredients so I'm gonna start adding some onion as much as you feel comfortable with don't have to use all of it and some cilantro for the lime some people cut it in half I honestly don't like it I cut it by the sides so that I can kind of take advantage of all the juice that I'm using so I can squeeze as much as I like. I try to squeeze about half of the line. And just leave the other part. And just keep putting this here. With the jalapeno, oops, with the jalapeno, we can uh, just kind of cut it in half and take the seeds off from the jalapeno. Sometimes they're really spicy. So I previously did it right here. I cut the jalapeno in half and just took off this little seed because it's really spicy. And I have it ready here. So I'm gonna add it to my uh, mixture. Just start mixing everything up. As I told you, half of a teaspoon of kosher salt. So that's the measure around. If you don't want salt, you don't have to put salt on it. And just keep like mixing it up. As I told you, 
the uh, chunky texture is already here. So I'm start adding off the mango. Just take the knife and be very careful. Unfortunately, you are behind the screen so you cannot taste it, but I will. So, I coat a little bit of my turkey sheep and I give it a try. Mm. And you can make it at home if you want. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy your vacations.